And what we are doing is we are sending data to the IoT core from AWS IoT core from node red uh, and we're gonna go through that exercise right now I've done a bunch of these right now and so you might see a couple devices so we're just assume it's kind of a pretty clean slate and we'll go through this first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna drop in and inject node and we're gonna set the timestamp to time stamp we're gonna delete the topic and then we're gonna make sure this injects on an interval of every five seconds and the next thing we're gonna do is I installed a generator it's called the node red data generator real awesome tool helps you just kind of create some content real quick and it probably already passed it. there it is data generator drop it in and then we're gonna just take this straight over to a debug node so we can see that data coming in Clear this all out for us. Inject. Okay. And we're going to set this to return this data as a JSON structure. Done. Cool. Great. JSON structure, exactly how we expect. But we got a couple of things we want to do. We're going to set a topic. And what that topic is going to be, let's get our change node in here. We can just drop that right on top of that. And we're going to set our topic. And this is like our MQTT topic. So we're going to just say um, slash node red slash data. And then we're also going to add a message.payload.time stamp. And if you remember in that first inject node, um, we are going to set the value of that to timestamp. The reason why we couldn't do that before is because we were basically using the payload to pass things and that second node, which you see right here, writes over that. So we had to save it in another locations to bring that in. So we're going to click deploy. And let's see that data structure now. We see the timestamp. All great. The next thing we want to do is now drop an MQTT node in. I'm going to go through this. I'm going to just kind of clear out. Actually, we'll just create a new MQTT broker. We'll just leave it as. Okay, I'm going to deploy. It's going to yell at me, and that's okay. Now, over here on AWS, we are going to create and connect one new device. Make sure you note of this IP address. We'll just copy it and add it to it. Uh, my clipboard. We're going to click Next. We're going to create a new thing and since I've used node red multiple different times we're just gonna call this um, recording node you know what we call it flow fuse flow fuse and we're gonna create a new thing and then we're on a we're currently the computer that I'm doing this dev on is what we need to pay attention to I'm going to do Node.js. I've already got it installed. You can do Python just depending on whatever you have. But if you are doing a Node Red, you probably already have Node.js installed. Click Next and download the connection kit. And from here, I need to go into my downloads folder. I'm going to unpack this, extract it. Perfect. And we'll leave this open. I'm going to open up a PowerShell. And we'll drop this down here, and we don't really need that just yet anymore. Let's get our PowerShell back up top. And we're going to click Next. We are going to CD into our downloads, and then CD into the third one. And we shouldn't see a CA cert just yet. This is why you have to run this. So we are going to set the execution policy. That's basically saying, hey, I trust these files. And then the next thing we're going to do is run the script here. And so it's downloading. And as you see, we've already actually done the, our root.ca. That's basically the point of all of this. Um, and we'll leave this here. We'll we're subscribed to sdktest.js. Once this finishes, it's going to start running things. But we don't really care about that right now. What we do care about is configuring this. We don't need to set a topic. 
and we're going to create a new MQTT broker called Flow Fuse. Now, I did save this in my palette. There we go. And the port is going to be 1883. Um, connect automatically. Use TLS. We're going to create a new one. What? And we're going to say create a new one. And we're going to upload that certificate. The certificate that we're going to be uploading is cert. Sorry, I'm moving too fast. Cert. Okay. Ooh. We're going to do cert PIM. Insert. Next thing we're going to do is private key. Open. Next thing we're going to load up is the CA cert that was downloaded. We're going to De unclick the verify server and we're going to call this one flow fuse and click add and I believe everything else is good to go it is not going to be ready just yet because we have to change the policy within AWS so you're gonna see it sitting as connecting so um, the next thing we need to do is we are gonna leave this how it is and let's see how that we should have been seeing Payload. Yeah, it didn't show us so well. And I'm not too concerned about it. Okay. So the next thing we need to do, oh, there it is, right there. Hello world. Is going in and go into IoT Core. We are going to look all all of our devices, all of our things. And I'm going to open this up over here and we should see flow fuse. Okay. So that's our device. Now let's go down to security and we're going to see some policies flow fuse policy. Now we need to edit this policy. We're going to remove some of the things and we're just, we're just going to go what I like to refer to as God mode. Give me all the IOT resources. I know what I'm doing and I am secure. And then we're also going to set, the edited version as the active version for this policy and save new version and we are active with this new one and you see over here on the left hand side it went green and now if I go into a MQTT test client and I subscribe and if I recall correctly I subscribe to node red data we're gonna just paste that here and click subscribe and now you can see our data flowing in. Hope this was helpful and thank you for following along.